It is 1952. History has destined that India and Pakistan play test cricket against one another and not Ranji Trophy matches. The visiting Pakistan team is led by Abdul Qadar. Before 1947, Qadar had played for the undivided India against England. Lala Amarnath, who played his early cricket in Lahore and whom the Pakistanis revered, is India's captain. The young crowd in Delhi cheers jubilantly at the young teams as India and Pakistan play their first ever test match. India and Pakistan met for the first test in Delhi. Before the match began, the president, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, was introduced to players of both teams. India opened their first innings with Mankar and Roy. The first two wickets fell cheaply with only 33 runs added. Mandraka was out for 23. Amarnath was also disposed of for nine. Playing a doer innings, Hazari averted a batting debacle. He contributed a solid 76. At the end of the day, India had scored 210 runs for the loss of seven wickets. Adhikari and Ramchand resumed India's innings on the second day. Ramchand soon gave an easy catch to Imtiaz Ahmed at cover. The last wicket partnership between Adhikari and Ghulam Ahmed yielded 109 runs, a record last wicket stand for India in any test match. India's first innings ended for 372 runs. Nazar Mohammed and Mohammed Hanif opened Pakistan's first inning. Pakistan were given few scoring chances thanks to India's splendid bowling and fielding. At the end of the day, the visitors had collected 90 for three. The third day of the match opened ominously for the visitors. Maksud was Mankad's first victim, being caught by Roy. The Pakistan skipper, Abdul Hafiz, was out in a similar fashion five runs later. For another ten runs, Mankad claimed two more wickets. Pakistan's first innings closed for 150 runs and they were forced to follow on. The visitors were all out in the second knock for 152 runs. Thus India won the first test match by an innings and 70 runs. This is India's second victory in official test matches. Oh, my God.